Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Hey everyone, Kenny Tony coming at you today with this quick video. Yeah, I'm looking a little bit crazy, but it's all right. So today's quick video is just gonna be about a couple things that I've done to the truck. I know it's been a while since I've, I've uploaded a truck video, but I'm kind of done doing modifications and changes to it. Right now I'm just enjoying driving the truck and doing everything good. So basically the majority of my videos about the truck are gonna be around questions that people have asked me in the comment section. So people have asked me a lot about the different four scan changes that I have made for the truck. And it's just gonna be a quick rundown of everything that I've done and what my recommendations are. So the first thing I say that you need to do is get on your computer after you watch this video and then get onto motocraft.com, put in your VIN number and it's gonna give you your as-built data sheet. It's gonna tell you the, what your truck comes with of all your modules. So if you have to revert back, you have that sheet in hand. Mine is printed out and it's in my truck. Also, on the very back, I went to went online and I've got the four scan changes that's downloaded and it's stapled to my as built data sheet. So for any reason, I changed something and I don't like the changes that I've done. If it's affected more than one thing, I can go back in to the manufacturer's as built data and change it back to where I, it should be. But let's take a quick walk around and I'm going to tell you what I've done so far. So as I've stated, for this video to be relatively quick, I'm not gonna go through every single code that I've changed. I'm not gonna go through any of the codes that I've changed actually. I'm just gonna tell you what I've changed. So the first thing that I did to the truck to change was I did not like the auto start stop feature, so I changed that with Forescan. So when I stop at a red light, the truck still runs. Yes, that is for gas saving purposes, I assume, but I don't like that. After I changed that, the next thing that I did was enable Bambi mode. So Bambi mode allows your fog lights to be on, your low beams and your high beams. Normally, whenever you cut your high beams on, your fog lights turn off, not mine. I also disabled the front and rear lamp out. So if you upgrade to any kind of LEDs in the truck, it's wanting a hyper flash. With this, it does not do that anymore. I believe that's called lamp out. I think I disabled that. Yeah, the truck looks good. I love this truck. Let's get on the inside. See, so yes, the inside of the truck is a little bit dirty, but that's not what this video is about. It's not about my detailing right now in the winter. <laughs> but I did change the blinker tick. It's on the other side. Blinker tick. So when you do the hold down of course it blinks continuously but when you do the little click instead of going from the factory three three clicks it goes six i enabled on the regular steering wheel not on the steering wheel i enabled on the regular radio for the auxiliary amp output to be turned on so i can put an amplifier in it which i did got the kicker 10 underneath the seat and a little custom box that i had made i also enabled the heated steering wheel module that's a different video because i've added that so that's not something you just turn on this is a platinum steering wheel and i bought the module and did some wiring and made this work into the truck so did the i think three unlock windows down one two three very convenient whenever you're going somewhere you're walking back to your car and it's 90 degrees outside 100 degrees outside and 300 degrees in the car you can do that or if you're in the house and you forgot to roll them up three rows the front windows up i disabled my seat belt chime and my i think door open chime the seat belt chime is off because it's just annoying Sometimes I ride down the main street to take the trash down and I don't want to hear the seatbelt chime the whole time. So that's just me and my pet peeves. So we got that off there. I enabled the navigation to be able to be touched or punched in. You can punch in your address while you're driving. Normally, you can't do that. So you have to pull over and put an address in. My wife 
passenger a lot of the times if we're traveling she's able to do that on her own punch that in and i'm able to keep driving and we can just look for different things we can be going down the road and say where's the nearest walmart at punch the walmart in and go there while we're you know out of state i was also able to enable the gauge for turbo i think that that wasn't something that I was able to have to turn on after I got the eight inch cluster in the truck. Now nah, I may be wrong on that. I was able to show the transmission temperature, like the actual numbers that had to be turned on as well. I turned off the fake engine noise. Apparently that's something from factory. Fake engine noise comes through the motor, comes through the, I don't know, the, the radio maybe so I disabled that I, I don't want any extra noise no more than I have to have on there the heated steering wheel icon I put the heated steering wheel and the heated seat icon on the radio so instead of the lower buttons being the only thing to turn them on and off you can touch it on the radio as well I put the trailer brake added it was able to enable it as well I said there's plenty of things that you can do with it for scan i was able to also calibrate my computer to the larger tire size so if you go from the factory tires to putting 34s or 35s on your truck your speedometer is going to be off i was able to calibrate that as well and able to check i was able to change my tire pressure monitoring system numbers so it was able to you know be changed with the different tires yeah I highly recommend if you're going to get four scan just go ahead and do it it's not that scary and if you do one change at a time just test that change out you won't have any problems just don't do 15 20 different things and have no idea what you've done and freak out so as I stated, this is going to be a quick video about that. I'm not even going to throw any codes out there, but this is the conclusion of my video. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And if you have any other questions, let me know. If there's anything in my future videos that I can do to make things better, let me know as well. This is the end.